Happy Monday! Babies are playing. They just had lunch per se, like a late breakfast. Mama Shiloh fed them. I cleaned. They went in there for a little bit. They were not, not very happy with me. So now we're back in here all nice and clean and it's playtime. Winter, Charlotte, winter. I'm not good at calling them their new names, but don't worry, they won't know. We don't sleep on that, okay? That's for potty time. Come over here, just sleep right there. That's a good girl. Okay. So she wants to sleep, she wants to sleep there. So I'm like, ah. Okay, Captain Red, beating up on Grace. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Not so rough, not so rough. Good boy. There we, there's my Ed. Look at my baby. Look at my Ed and my Grace. I'm telling you, those two love me. I can't keep you. I know you love me, but I can't keep you. I'm so sorry, I wish I could. I wish I could, you'd be a great guardian. She looks just like her grandma Heidi. <coughs> you do? You talking to me, girl? You used to be so, oh. You jump like a rabbit. You used to be so shy. Now you're coming out of your shell. Autumn Spice. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Winter. <laughs> She's like, I, I don't know who you're talking to. My name's Charlotte. Charlotte. You're not supposed to sleep up there, pumpkin taters. She's like, I don't really care. Ed's a good boy. He listened. He went to sleep right there. Good boy, Ed. That's a good boy. See, he's so good. He listens to everything I say. He's amazing. I'm just kidding. They're all amazing. So, yeah. They're five weeks old today, you guys. Five weeks old. Five weeks old. Let's see. Some Ronan, you getting him? Get him, Ronan. Get Red. Get him. Get him. You're okay. You can do it. She, he's like, I don't want to be too rough. She'll get on to me. Grace is like, I'll come get you. I'll come get you, boy. Don't let the girl beat up on you. She's a tough girl. She's a tough. He's a sweetheart. See? You're a sweet boy. Ed, that's such a good boy, Ed. He's going night-night, Grace. Grace. Grace, Grace. Grace, Grace. Sleeping and drinking water. She's so cute. You are so, if you weren't so cute, I don't know what I would do with you. I don't know what I would do. You're gonna get spoiled because you're so cute, little teddy bear. Come on, let's not sleep there, okay? One more time, one more, one more time. How about over here? How about next to Ed? Right here is good, right there. Sorry, my arm's not working. Luckily, I'm going to the doctor on Wednesday for an orthopedic. Hopefully they can just fix it right up for me because it's making work pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. See, they got to go potty, baby, and they, they can't potty if you're laying on them. And I don't want them to potty on you because somebody's being a good boy right now. <coughs> Ronan. Grace is a wild child. Good job, Ronan. He's like, Red, you're kind of like in my way. <coughs> I need to bring the other one in here probably. I don't think you guys have enough room. We got a double digit, double tray it. Come here. Very soon. Oh, very soon we will be moving. We're moving out. We're moving out guys. To the big place where you can run and play. It's gonna be so much fun. I don't know if he had to go. Did he go? I don't think he went. I think he has to go poo. Aren't they so cute? Are you trying to get out? He's like, we're moving out. I'm ready. I'm ready to go now. <laughs> I just got to set it up, guys. So I promise we're doing it in like the next day or two. It's just with my arm. I'm struggling. I know. I know. You want to run and play? You want to go down a slide? And we're going to have a ball pit. And we're going to have stairs. And we're going to have all kinds of fun stuff. Toys. 
lots and lots of toys and beds and lots of large potty area and a crate and the whole nine yards. It's going to be so much fun. I promise, Captain, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're so cute. I cannot handle his cuteness. You guys are all... <laughs> Look at her. Aren't they the cutest babies ever seen? I mean, I say that about all my babies, don't I? But these babies are so pretty. Yes, you are. You're so handsome. Good job, Grace. Good job, guys. Good job. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweet boy. You are so cute. Yes, you are. Who's barking? Thank you, winner. You're being a good girl. You did it, girl. Thank you. See, we learn. Hi. Oh, my sweet boy. I'm going to have to hold you. Their eyes are a little bit... I got to cut the hair back in their eyes because they're having a little bit of drainage, like the teardrop stuff. Sometimes they just get that regardless, but like the great part about this color is you don't notice it. But um, a lot of times it's like that hair gets stuck in their little eyes on the side just a little teeny bit and it's irritating grace you settled down now you want to go to sleep that's like i've been trying to sleep guys ed you're not showing off you gotta show off babe. see he's the quiet one the quiet ones are always the best ones you guys i promise He's like, I'm trying to sleep, and you guys are just really annoying me. Oh, sweet boy. He's like, can I find a spot here? <laughs> He's trying to. Hey, I, I know I said we were going to move out, but just give me a little, like, a day or two, okay? Maybe maybe I'll do it tonight. We'll see how I feel. It's a busy day. It's, a bit, it's another Manic Monday, basically. So we got Addie upstairs still in mm -hmm. Ella's room, which I feel really mm -hmm. bad because she's ready to come out. She's doing really good, but she needs to stay for 10 days to like not jump and run around and play. She's being cray cray and she's like, why are you leaving me in here? Plus I can't watch her. She's got her suit on, so she's not messing with her incision. And I'm still giving her sedatives twice a day, but it's not really working very well. So anyhow, she's doing good though. I just feel bad for her. I hate leaving her up there by herself, but when Ella gets home, she'll be fine. And then Ella has her first dance on Friday, which I'm super excited about for middle school. So I have to take her dress we ordered on Amazon to the altar today after school, because the sleeves are a little big, but that's it. Um, and then Anna's is still in heat, like prime time. So I have to keep the boys away from Anna. So Anna's in the other room with Shiloh right now and Mama Evie. And Charlotte, Charlotte, whew. I'm just, t I can just keep telling her, hold off, baby girl. Give me a few more days. She doesn't, she's not having any signs of labor. She's eating really well. So we're good. Um, I got the room ready. We got the rails in. Boys are on the porch right now just because I can't, I don't, I want them to have some time out of their crate. They do have to go in their crate when they're around Anna. But Anna's won't let them around her. They come near her and she's like, Rawr. <laughs> she's the sweetest girl in the whole world, but she will not let them around her when she's in heat. And she loves Bowden. That's her best friend. But she said, you are my dad and you better stay away. He doesn't even need to do anything. He just walks towards her and she's like, get away. <laughs> so funny. Um, but I don't let them near her. Honestly, it's just for when they come inside, they have a wrap around them. She has a diaper on, like accidents happen within five seconds. So I literally like just put them in their crate. They run past her. And a lot of times I'll actually put her in the other room because, but sometimes I just don't have time. Um, and now I'm sweating bullets, working up a nice sweat this morning. This is a good workout guys. Now they're starting to settle down. Of course, you know who is back on the thing, but that's okay, baby girl, cause you're so cute. I just can't help it. I just let you do it. You guys are starting to thicken up with that food which is good because they were looking a little, not thin, like they're still chunk monks, but like some of them, I could see their ribs a little bit and I like them to stay chunky, but they're doodles. So they're going to be kind of thin. I think like Ed, see how long he is? He's a little long boy. He's like, I'm ready to play now. They're definitely teething. They got lots of teeth. Um, or wait, that's red. Never mind. Oh, no, it isn't. That. I mean, God love it. How cute.
can you not let them sleep like that? That's the cutest thing I ever said to eat. Autumn said, can I come too? Can I come too? Those are my three outgoing ones. And then the shy ones kind of hang together. Well, Ed's by himself, but Ronan and Grace. I think they're buddies. So cute, but I love them all so much. Anyhow, you going to sleep with your sissy? All right, that's, that's the sweetest thing over there. Oh, you're a snuggle bug. <laughs> He's like, you got a snuggle up here. He loves her. I can see why she's cute. She's a cute, cute sister. She a good teddy bear to snuggle with Red, Captain Red. And Spice says, I'm still playing, Miss Autumn. Are you still playing? Look how cute you are. She's got the cutest uh -huh. little face. Oh, are you saying hi? Say hi, everybody. Say hi to your mom and dad. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello. She's so cute. They're also cute. <laughs> what? You want to play? You want me to play? Here. Here. They love these rope things. This one, like Play-Doh, it's a dog toy, but like it makes little crinkle noises and they like, the, they love crinkle noise stuff. Um, I put a play mat in here, this little play mat. It's got like little Velcro. It's actually for babies, but you know, Velcro things they can try to get off. So they like that, it's fun. Here's your, oh, somebody got the, somebody got the rabbit off. Good job. Okay, well, that's it. So five weeks old today. I'm going to do their pictures later. I just haven't had a chance. So bear with me on the pictures, but they will be posted at some point today. Probably tonight, <laughs> but I'll get them. All right, have a good Monday. Looks like everybody's starting to settle. Is it nap time, girlfriend? Is it nap time? Okay, say good night.